Communications Director, Krista Flash. And I'm Assistant City Manager, Russell Gale. Thanks for joining us for this edition of City Council Highlights. Here's what happened at the October 2nd City Council meeting. In presentations, Emergency Management Director Jamie Ott and Development Services Director Michael Skates explained the Storm Shelter Rebate Program. This program allows homeowners who don't have a storm shelter installed yet to get a rebate for adding one to their home. City Manager Michael Spurgeon recently sat down with Mr. Ott on a Take 5 segment to talk about the program. With this opportunity to apply for the safe room rebate, uh, we need to encourage those who do not have a safe room, who are thinking about it, to take advantage of this rebate program. Because next year, this opportunity may not be there because it, it is a grant. And once those grants are rateable, you need to take action and, and, and apply for them now to get that assistance to get them in, inside your homes. We will have two public meetings about the rebate program, October 4th and October 9th at 6.30 p.m. at Central on Main. To learn more about the storm shelter rebate and how to qualify, you can watch the entire Take 5 on our Facebook or YouTube pages. In general business, Council approved a list of projects to be included in an upcoming bond sale. This bond sale will wrap up projects approved by voters in 2014 and begin the projects approved in 2018. Some of the projects are widening Albany Street from 9th to 23rd, a new playground at Vandiver Park, and construction of the Armed Forces Meeting Hall and Senior Center Annex. You can view the full list of projects approved at buildourfutureba.com. In Municipal Authority business, Broken Arrow will kick off a recycling pilot program in January 2019. About 1,000 residents will participate in two different pilots. One pilot will test out the use of carts for both trash and recycling, with pickup on the same day once a week. The other pilot will continue trash collection in plastic bags, but collect recycling in a cart, also once a week pickup. Residents in the pilot program will be notified in the coming weeks. The authority authorized a loan from the Oklahoma Water Resources Board to fund several utility projects throughout town. The loan will help pay for a new pretreatment basin at the water plant, a second water storage tank on Tiger Hill, new and replacement sewer lines, and more. You can learn more about these proposed projects in the council presentation, which will air on our YouTube channel and on Cox Cable 24. In community events, Cool Grills is Saturday, October 6th in the Rose District. This classic car show includes music, a kid's zone, food, and shopping. For more information, visit barotary.com. Wine, Eats, and Easels is Friday, October 12th at the Museum Broken Arrow. This annual wine and food tasting event benefits Broken Arrow neighbors. Tickets are $50 per person. For more information, call 636-9205. The free dump day is Saturday, October 20th at the Waste Management Landfill in Tulsa. Residents may dump for free with proof of address. Some exclusions apply. Check our community calendar for details. For more information, contact Waste Management at 439-7835. Also, congratulations to our City Manager, Michael Spurgeon, who has been designated a certified municipal official by the Oklahoma Municipal League. This designation is awarded to those in municipal government who demonstrate a commitment to carrying out the duties of their position and enriching their expertise in local government. Congratulations, boss. That's it for this edition of City Council Highlights. The next meeting is October 16th. Have a great day, everyone. For the full agenda and video of the City Council meeting, go to BrokenArrowOK.gov. If you have any questions about items discussed in the meeting, please contact the City Manager's Office at 918-259-8419 or email mspurgeon at BrokenArrowOK.gov.